So here is Eton at day 35. And again, uh, probably not that many training days. And you can see he's pretty uh, up today. So I just felt he was very, very sensitive. He could see your kneecap flinch. So on this day, I decided it was a bouncing kind of day. Um, I just added movement to help him realize that it was okay and that it didn't all mean to just run, run, run. So it can be a little difficult in the beginning, um, but I found that when they are very sensitive and have that high flight and I've done a lot of the work on the ground of being quiet and slow and then I have to be careful that I'm not super quiet and slow all the time because then if um, my prep work won't pay off. So uh, this, this helps him get used to the movement and it's kind of like in the baby steps just trying to get him to stop in the beginning and then I'm trying to, as I do the little bounces, see if I can touch him and then I take the pressure away and release. Sometimes it may seem like I'm going a little bit longer because I'm looking for a different type of release. So he may have stopped, but uh, kind of the feeling when I touch him um, can be a little different. So here he just wanted to leave, but he's already getting better about the bolting. At least I can have a little bit more body control. And here I'm able to kind of go all the way to the wither. And then I take the pressure off. And this is his first day back uh, after a period of time without kind of any work. He was just being fed. So I've done a lot of the uh, positive reinforcement work with the treat in the stall. I've been working on it in the pen as well. And then I go back to the bouncing. It is already getting a lot better. That was pretty good. So then what can tend to happen is, of course, when you're doing the bouncing up and down, and then they can go into the freeze mode. So kind of the idea behind it is... I'm trying to teach him that he can have kind of control of his environment. So if he goes into the more relaxation or stopping of the movement, he can start to have a little bit more control. But sometimes what happens is they go into that freeze mode, so then you have to kind of unstick the feet sometimes, um, at least during this kind of technique. There are several different ways. There's every which way you can train a horse. I've just found for me, this is kind of how I can get through it. Also helps me stay relaxed, kind of sometimes when we go through that um, period where everything is just getting uh, too tight, have to be too still, kind of bouncing around and doing a little bit of the motion work can help me stay relaxed. So it was a pretty humid day, so I was trying to make sure uh, to give him some points to stop. And so here, I just kept a little bit of the pressure on the halter as I move over to that right side, and he's getting better about me being over on the right side. And then every time, you see I'm trying to go to his face a little bit so I can keep adjusting the halter. So that was pretty good. Gave me a good looking chew there. Good Gave him a good moment. And that was really good. He thought about running away, but then he stopped. And then I'm able to be over on that right side. Again, he's pretty bracy, but this is just kind of the beginning steps of this exercise. It's just helping to take down those walls so I can have a little bit of movement. Because God forbid if I trip or 
if I sometimes had a bug on my face and that would just send him through the roof. So this is already getting better. So again, kind of once he stands still, I then try to get the feet to move again. And it really is kind of a feel of being in there with him. Sometimes um, in the feel of the energy and the timing sometimes. Oh yeah, so again, that's that right side. I'm asking him to come up off the pressure of the halter. And working on, you know, because he stopped in that one corner, I wanted him to come over to a different space in the round pin. So just trying to see if I can work in the different spots of the round pin. And that's getting pretty good. good it was much better. Good job, buddy. Even though he still snorted at me, he has a lot of tension, which is understandable. This is, this is hard work. There was a really good change. He kind of dropped his head, licked and chewed. So I uh, washed him off and then was able to take the lead rope off. And so just finishing up There's a little bit of work here uh, without the rope on. And doing a little bit of the approach and retreat so I can get, he's getting better about getting the lead rope on and off. Uh, in the round pin. So this, I've only been able to put the lead rope on and kind of approach and retreat in the stall, but in the round pin, uh, not so much. So this is a big change for him after this uh, session. And yeah, again, apologize, I wasn't able to get him being washed down, which he was good for, um, because my phone didn't record it. And again, apologize for the bailing twine. In the framing. Whoops. So now I'm just doing uh, approach and retreat. Just working on, I know he likes the left side, so I'm going to go kind of the cue with my arm to touch his cheek. That's kind of where he likes me to go. And then go and leave to the end out of the view of the camera. Again, just give him some time here. Hey, and this is kind of a good little spot where he likes to draw to me. That was pretty good. Still, again, bracy, but like I said, it's going to take him... inch by inch, and then just practicing with the lead rope going on and off, playing with the clip sound. And then retreat. That was actually really good that he Relaxed his neck and head down. It's getting a lot more horizontal than when he has it straight up in the air. So here I'm asking him to come to me. He's giving me a couple of steps forward. That was really good. So I took my steps back. And then I was able to touch his cheek. Oh. And I had to scratch my face because of a bug, and he left. So going back, playing again with the lead rope on the halter. Actually did really good since I had to use both hands. Sometimes both hands 
the sensitive horse can send them away. But now he's even getting better about when I had to swap for another bug. So I'm just finishing up. Just doing a little bit. I'm going to the right side. That was a much better transition there. He's letting me touch his mane. That's big. I'm taking the clip off. And decided that was a really good moment to stop. 